Only on four as the uprising in the Middle East takes headline after headline. We found two Arizona rock hounds caught in the middle of it in a prison in the country of Oman. The men just recently came back to Tucson. And tonight, their exclusive story with News 4 Sandy Rathbun. Michael Farmer and Robert Ward are rock stars. Literally. They travel the world hunting for meteorites. I found this meteorite in Oman about uh, four years ago. They've traveled to Oman about 20 times in the past eight years, the last time in January. They say upon leaving the country, they were arrested, separated, and thrown into isolation. We spent 25 days in an interrogation center in, in an eight foot by eight foot cement cell with a blanket on the floor and the door would open and they would throw food in and close the door. The men say their captors tortured them psychologically to try to make them sign confessions they couldn't read. I was taken into a into a room there was uh, you know blood all over the floor carpet soaked in blood and uh, you know blood handprints on the wall just in terror, right? I mean, you don't know what's happening. We heard other people screaming and crying and beating on the doors and, you know, that were in other rooms. The meteorite hunters insist they didn't break any laws, but say they were convicted of illegal mining and sentenced to six months in prison. Finally, with the help of the U.S. Embassy and lawyers hired by Farmer's wife, they appealed and Oman released them. They believe just in time to get out. The place is about to go up from what I can see. We're, we're in the middle of a potential civil war. People were being shot in the streets and uh, the hospitals and shopping malls and police stations were all burned to the ground. Despite the drama, both men say they'll continue their quest for these rocks. Yes, this is, in, this is what I do. I love it. It's the adventure, you know. Absolutely, certainly. Yeah, it, it's, it's my passion. Even though this trip's fines were confiscated, they did get out with their clothes and prison papers. The uh, Arabic newspaper describing our arrest. Sandy Rathbun, News for Tucson. Both men believe that the U.S. Embassy helped with their release, and they also think being American got them better treatment in prison, which they said was embarrassing. Michael and Robert told Sandy that one of their most emotional moments was leaving those other inmates behind. All right.